female suspects often try to flirt with police officers to get away with crimes. But what happens when they actually propose some hanky-panky with them? Here are four suspects that made the cops an offer that was hard to refuse. Starting with Olivia Taylor Washek, a 28-year-old Instagram model. The cops were called to a local bar, where Olivia was giving unsolicited lap dances to random strangers. Okay, you have anybody on your cell phone list that can come and help you out? No, um, I love him. You love him? Can you go sit down and tell him that? No, not. Come on, right here. Here's a great chair right here. I hope that it really makes you feel. I hope it makes you feel really good. Nobody wants to make fun of you. What I want is for you to You're a dark individual, bro. I'm a what? I know he's I'm not, fucking. but you're a fucking dark individual. Chill out and have a seat. I think maybe you should just fucking, maybe y'all should just like touch each other, I don't know. That's probably not appropriate. Considering she was dancing around strangers a while ago, Olivia's behavior towards cops is rather the opposite. She's arguing with them and almost insulting them. They were actually concerned about her well-being, so paramedics were called in to evaluate Olivia's condition. But Olivia wasn't having it and became aggressive towards them. I'm not kidding, this isn't a joke. It's All not right. a joke. No, I will literally, I will literally punch him in the fucking face. That's not a good idea. Okay, really idea. I assure you that if you make another threat like that, you are going to go to jail. All right? Instead of having somebody... I wouldn't do that. that. Why? What did I do? Yeah. Calm down. Where do you what live at? What did I do? Lily, where do you live at? At this here. Why? You've been trying to get somebody to come over there. Do you understand? I'm done nothing wrong. The emotional roller coaster eventually got the better of Olivia, and she started to break down in tears. Her main concern was for her dad to find out about her being arrested. Uh, I feel very, 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 very alone. Who can we call to come help you out? I'm, I live here by myself. You're not going to be able to walk home by yourself. Yes, I can. Officers eventually back down and just try to get her home safe. But since Olivia refuses to call anyone to pick her up, their generosity was, however, met with another round of insults and, surprisingly, inappropriate advances. We can walk you to your door, and if you get inside, Why do you want to do that to me right now? So you don't get hit by a car or kidnapped. No, you don't care. You're a fucking asshole. I, think, I feel like you guys are really attractive. Well, I appreciate the compliment. You have nothing to do with me. We're trying to get you home. We're going to walk you to the door, you're going to go inside, and we're going to leave you alone. I feel like you guys are very, yeah. very, very I think intense. we're running out that vehicle there that reaches Can I help you back up again? Do you want to bang? No. Okay. Why? What do you need right now? You need to sit up. We just sit right there exactly how you are. That's funny, isn't it? Until That's super cool. Up. Until you fucking get shot, bitch. Yes. I won't ever stop talking. <laughs> or what? Literally, like, in, in, a, in five seconds. If you could just, like, fucking, like, let your dick go for five seconds. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking... I'm just gonna relax if, that, if, that, if that's fine. No, y'all do wanna have you y'all do wanna be involved with me because I'm pretty! I'm pretty and I'm white! So fuck the fuck off! Fuck off! 
Olivia's behavior eventually led to an arrest for disorderly intoxication and was released the following day. According to her Instagram, Olivia is currently competing with other women to be on the cover of Maxim magazine. The winner receives a grand prize of $25,000, which she says she'd use to pay off her student loans. But if you thought Olivia was too hot to handle, the next suspect's proposal will blow your mind. The cops were following a stolen vehicle operated by an unknown female. They were unsuccessfully pursuing her for a couple of minutes until she suddenly pulled over. But then she did the unthinkable. Instead of surrendering to the police, she got out of the car and took off to the nearby forest. As if that wasn't enough, she was almost completely naked. But her dramatic escape was short-lived, as the cop was able to capture her only a few yards into the forest. You don't like me up? Seriously? Birthday. In case you missed it, the woman did indeed try to convince the cop to let her go because it was her birthday. However, she quickly realized that she might need to increase her offer to have a chance at the cop's mercy. But in his wildest dreams, the cop wouldn't think what he's just about to hear. I do. Please don't do that. I fuck you. No. I'm not. Stop talking. I don't have no STD. Stop talking. I swear. Stop talking. Fuck it. Stop. Okay. Stop. I will fuck you. Please. Stop. My kids. I don't care. Turn around. I'm drunk. You don't let me go to jail? You're seriously going to put my whole life? I will fuck you. Like, I have no excuse. Let me know. Just say I'm Unfortunately for her, not even the most direct proposal worked on the cop. The next suspect, however, went for a slightly different strategy. Initially, the suspect was pulled over for reckless driving. The cops suspected a potential DUI situation, but Bonnie had a different explanation. <laughs> Bonnie struggled through the field sobriety test, blaming the lack of her balance on the boot she was wearing. Although at this point, her behavior was rather innocent, she was dropping subtle hints on what her plan B was. And what, what I want you to do is I want you to put your left foot on that line and then put your right foot directly in front of it so it's in a straight line like my feet. Okay, well that's hard to do in boots. Your arm's going to be at your sides. Honey, can you step in heels? We could do a different one if you feel you can't do it. No, I'm just saying it's like harder in heels. I'm going to do it for you, but I'm just saying it's hard. Not so surprisingly, Bonnie was arrested for DUI. However, Bonnie wasn't going to go down without a fight. On the way to the police station, she began to explore another way to resolve the situation. Hey, you're the car you get, like, wherever you're taking me. Uh-huh. To the station. Uh-huh. I cannot pull over now. If you need to talk to me, you can talk to me now. But I'm not pulling over. What do you need? No, I'm asking you. Well, you want to talk to me, what do you need? Well, where did you did all the exercises? Where did you did all the exercises I needed? There's nothing else to do. Yeah. There's, no, there's nothing not. That's, that's it. I think you have a small penis. Thank you. Not only was she unable to get off the hook, but she also completely ruined all her chances with her last comment to the officer. And if you thought our previous suspects went too far, the next one turned out to be the most graphic of all. You want to taste me? No. Do it. Stay in the I blue like box. It. I like it kinky. Stay in the blue box. It all started when a flock camera flagged a vehicle for the owner having multiple felony warrants. The vehicle was involved in a hit and run and fled the scene. When the cops stopped the car, they discovered that the driver was actually not the owner, but an underage stripper called Gracie. Why did you get on me like that? 26 headquarters, it's a female. All right, step out. A white step female. Out. Put your hands behind your back. 
Put your hands behind your back. Why did you take off like that? I'm sorry. Gracie was obviously severely intoxicated. The cop didn't hesitate, put her into handcuffs and escorted her to the patrol car. She immediately began flirting with him, but as it later turned out, this was only the beginning. Do you have anything in your pockets? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? <laughs> I don't back. know, you want to check me? <clears throat> Touch me real quick. In Sitting there. No, you don't want to stop. Are you on something right now? No. I just came for dinner with my trick. How much you have to drink there? Two doubles. Two doubles of what? Patron. Okay. So you are drunk. And I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Where's the owner of that vehicle? I don't know. Who's I just bought it. The officer then proceeds to talk to the hit and run victim. But due to Gracie's erratic behavior, he ends up calling one of his colleagues to help with the victim. He's already sensing that Gracie will require his full attention in order to handle her. Well, it's safe to say he wasn't wrong. Are you injured? No. Do you need EMS? No. Okay. I need to talk to you. What? Don't hit me with a what. What do you need? Don't try me because I used to be a paramedic. Okay. All Don't right. hit me with a what you need. Okay, what do you... Because I know All that right. you want to listen to more than what I got. What is you your want a name? drug bust? What's that? You want a drug bust, don't you? Do so you have drugs in the car? I don't. Okay, all right. And you want to check it? We are gonna check my, it. My trick. That vehicle is gonna my, get towed. Okay. So you gonna give me the clothes out of it? Oh right, yeah, we'll get what you need out of it. What is your name? Stay in Grace. the car. Stay in the car. Okay, I understand. Get in the car. I, okay. Get your leg in the car. Listen, handsome man. Get your leg in the car. You feel some type of way because my leg ain't in the car? Get your foot in the car. Just stop. Is what is you? your name? Grace. Grace what? G-R-A-C-E. Yeah. Do you know your social? No. I All right. I'm going to get your driver's license out of your purse, okay? You can do that. All right. Put your foot in the car. Do I have to? Yes. Put your foot in the car. Why you got to be so demanding? Gracie's talking is quite nonsensical the entire time, and she occasionally adds some provocative statements. You, you can't sell dick without selling it before it comes. What do you mean? You understand that? No. No? No. You gotta make it hard before it comes. But even before the cops took Gracie to the police station, she managed to add another charge to her DUI and hit and run. Did she just spit on you? All right, she's going down. We're not going to test her. Yeah. So you like your job? Yeah, it's not bad. You like your yeah, job? it's not bad. Yeah. Did you get paid? Would oh. you rather, because I'll bring my thumb right now to get out these cups. Stop playing. Well, you're going to be out soon, so don't do that. I don't give a <laughs> They don't do shit in my favor. I ain't even did shit. Oh, piss in your face. Only if you like it, though. That's the only question. <laughs> For real. You might think the situation can't get crazier than that, but Gracie certainly kept her word because upon arriving at the police station, she had a surprise for the officer. You wouldn't let me go. Right. Step out. No, you wouldn't let me go. I couldn't hold it. Okay. And I pissed in it. Okay, I'm counting out one. Oh, no. Shoes. No, shoes. Shoes. Because I already pissed in your car. Alright. You can have them. I couldn't hold it. Door 22, please. What's your name? Logan? You look like a Logan. You gonna let me keep pissing? No, come on. I don't want to piss through your Come on. Okay. Shit. Bye. Uh, hold on. Once inside the building, the officer started looking for a female officer to provide some assistance. While doing that, Gracie was attempting to take her now pea-soaked pants off. As she did so, she left the blue box that the officer had asked her to stand in, 
He told her to get back in the box, and that's when she made another sexual advance. Just stay there. Just no, stay there. I want to take them all. Okay. I want to be my pin. You want to try me? Stay I'm in like, the blue box. No, hold on. Stay in the blue box. You, you want to taste me? No. Do it. Stay in the I blue like box. It. I like it, Kinky. Stay in the blue box, Grace. Don't. Stay in the blue box. Step back. You can touch Step me. Step back. You touch me. Just stay in that blue box. Look. No. no. Yes. You don't want me here. You don't want me here. Stay in the blue box. No. Just stay in the blue box. Don't touch me. She. No. I don't need. She. She is urinating everywhere. I. Yes, all in the back seat of my don't. car. Yes, I did. All out because there. Because disrespect him. Do I. Want to take a test that's on the no. Tom. Refusal. Right. I. 1918. Right over here. Do you not understand? Yeah. I'm saying. I got you. I got it. I'm saying. I understand. I'm confessing to your piss test. Right. I understand. You understand that? I do. I got it. But y'all didn't. Right. I, I got you. No. There's, 23. No, you don't. I don't. No, you don't. Right. No, you don't. I got you. <laughs> stand by for a minute. Hey, hey, come stand right here at this window. Stay right here. No! No, y'all want to break me! Stop! Y'all want to break me! After all of that and the repeated flirting with the officer, Gracie was reportedly taken to the hospital for a medical evaluation. Grace Spoonamore was eventually charged with suspicion of speeding, operating a vehicle under the influence, obstructing official business, and simple assault on an officer. She's due in court for a pretrial hearing on September 18th with a criminal trial set to begin October 2nd. Let's just hope that there's a positive ending to this story and that Gracie will manage to get out of whatever she's in. We'll keep you posted for updates on her trial. So in the end, all the cops in these stories were able to keep their animalistic instincts under control. The question is, would they behave the same way if there were no body cameras? Let us know what you think in the comments and subscribe for more content.